Hello and welcome to this midweek reflection from the Mance at Bothwell Parish Church with me, Ian. Many thanks for stopping by and taking time out of your schedule to reflect on God's Word with me. Today is the 27th of January and today is International Holocaust Memorial Day. Holocaust Memorial Day is a date chosen because the 27th of January was the day that Auschwitz was liberated at the end of the Second World War. It's an important date to remember because we remember the six million lives lost in World War II just just because of their faith. But we think too of Rwanda and Cambodia. We think of Bosnia and we think of Darfur also. Sadly, genocide was not a thing of the past. Every year, the Council for Christians and Jews produces material for people and churches to use alike. And this year, their theme is Be the Light in the Darkness. Be the Light in the Darkness. It's an interesting theme because, of course, at the moment, many feel like we are in the darkness. But the theme also reminds us that we cannot ignore or pretend that the past didn't happen. We can't pretend that Christians didn't have a role in some way in spreading anti-Semitism. Anti-Semitism that built to a height in World War II and helped fuel those death camps. But the theme also reminds us of the hope that was found in the death camps of people supporting one another. We think too of the resistance movement around Europe, which did not bow to the Nazi pressure, but supported and helped and moved Jews to safety. Be a light in the darkness allows us to think of the future. To remember to burn the light of truth, the light of God, the light of scripture, as we shine a light of hope of unity, of compassion, of peace. That we shine a light that shows that we are all made in God's image. That we shine a light of love to our neighbour. Anti-Semitism, sadly, is not something that has been confined to the history books and there is still so much work to do here in the UK and around the world. So today, on the 27th of January, We are encouraged and we are invited to share a light in the darkness. We're invited to reach out a hand of friendship to our neighbour. We're called to remember the past and to teach it to our family in years to come as we too shine a light in the darkness today. Today's reading is from the Gospel of Matthew, and it says this. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under the bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Thanks be to God. We're invited now to join together in this final prayer and you're invited to say the words in bold as they come up on the screen. The words are, Jesus calls us to be a light shining in the darkness. Let us pray. When faced with religious discrimination, Jesus calls us to be a light shining in the darkness. When faced with a global pandemic that threatens our well-being, Jesus calls us to be a light shining in the darkness. When faced with human beings not being treated in a dignified manner, Jesus calls us to be a light shining in the darkness. When faced with discrimination for being different, Jesus calls us to be a light shining in the darkness. When faced with injustices caused in the name of religion, Jesus calls us to be a light shining in the darkness. 
when faced with people who are unable to live in their own countries and homelands. Jesus calls us to be a light shining in the darkness. When faced with a lack of generosity towards refugees and migrants, Jesus calls us to be a light shining in the darkness. When faced with genocide, Jesus calls us to be a light shining in the darkness. When faced with denial of the Holocaust, Jesus calls us to be a light shining in the darkness. We look to the light of Jesus so that as we reflect his light in the world, it is filled with the harvest of his good works. And so we come together to say the words that Jesus taught us to say. Saying, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever. Amen. Nothing but the blood of Jesus What can make me old again Nothing but the blood of Jesus Oh, precious is the flow That makes me white as snow I see nothing.
And so let's close with these words, which say, as we go from this place of prayer into a world of challenge and change, we remember the pain of the past. As we follow God's command to let our light shine, we recognise the opportunity of the here and now. And as we seek the truth and glimpse God's light in all people and all places, we commit ourselves to sharing God's light through hope and through love. So may the light of God shine on us this day. May it transform our lives and may it brighten our world as we go with the blessing of Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen.